Okay, so today we're going to charge both of these 5.2 amp batteries at 4C, uh, the limiting factor being the power supply, but I'm expecting to see that pretty maxed out when we charge both of these at 4C. So in this case, it will be 20.8 amps per battery. So we're just going to set those to 20.8. close here that's the first one we'll get that one started charging starts and we'll do the next one and I'm expecting this to take around 10 minutes from storage charge here There we go. Charging starts. So let's just see how many amps it's pulling. Currently 40 on the power supply and 24 volts. We'll just see how long this takes. So just keep an eye on battery temperature here. Expect everything to be fine. They feel cold, kind of intense. So 24 times uh, 40, 24 volts times 40 amps, getting pretty close to a thousand watts there. Oh yeah, and the charger is telling us 990 watts. So there you go. So I'll just leave that and come back when they're fully charged so we can see how long it takes. Again, from storage charge, expecting something like 10 minutes. So we'll see how long it actually takes. You can hear a fan coming on now at 40 degrees up here. So everything's still under control. No. Other fan also coming on. So it's over a thousand watts here of power. You can see here that it's put in uh, 1.13 amps in uh, three minutes, so it shouldn't take too long. Everything feels cold here, no problems. See here the fan has brought the temperature down already. This charger seems to have no problems with that. And uh, this is uh, currently both at 500-ish watts, well below the 800 max per channel. Power supply definitely working pretty hard here. 
but still under the 1200 watt rating. Push the info to see what else I can see over here. It's telling us about individual cells there. Let's scroll over just to see if there's an internal resistance feature. Maybe just check info and scroll over on that just in case there's more information not appear to have internal resistance, that's okay. See the temperature going up here on the charger now, 45 degrees. Just checking the temperature of these wires. You can see this is almost at 25.2, it is now just over. So these batteries are pretty close to being charged. Let's put in two amps, which is around, you know, close to what I'd expect from storage charge here. And so we can see the amps starting to drop now as the batteries are getting close to being full. Fan stopped on the power supply here now that everything's uh, dropping off. Battery's completely cold. I'm almost at 2.5 amps here on a 5.2 pack from storage charge. So it shouldn't be too much longer. Definitely hopeful that it'll be ready within the uh, 10 minute kind of aim. Get the fan stopped on the charger as well. Getting very close to being fully charged here. To some degree, if I really wanted to go fly and not wait any longer, I could. Charge.
charge completed. So we can see fast charge completed on that one. So definitely fine to go fly this one now, just putting in a little bit extra fast to charge top it off. So you can see both under 10 minutes there. It's a great turnaround time, especially if you're using uh, high performance aircraft that drain your batteries quickly and you also want to get back up in the air quickly. For example, the free wing F-22 90 millimeter that I'm using, after about two minutes, I need to think about landing. So just with these two packs, I could still get in quite a few flights during the day. So I would say that's pretty good. Probably wait just for the complete charge to happen here. Again, right now we're at 2.65 and 2.5 amps on each of these batteries. Take just probably a bit longer to fully top them off. And you can see here, hopefully I don't unplug it, but it's a prime uh, 5200 6S battery. So no problems at all with this. So I'll leave it on just so it's fully charged and uh, we can see how long that takes. Take a look at the different cells here just to see if there's any cells just kind of holding things up there, but you can see that's pretty much fully charged. No real issues here at all, so it could definitely go and fly at this point. Okay, so just topping them off that little bit extra, I'd say that's good demonstration of this, the power of this charger. So I'm just going to stop this now. 
basically ready to fly in under 10 minutes, which is great. There we go. Hopefully you enjoyed this video.